name is Julia. I come from Spain. I did my undergrad there for five years, believe it or not, and then I decided to come here to the UK to do my master's, and I chose a virology master's. The organization of the course that had both a taught component and a research project also attracted me to it. And the fact that the exam suggests after the taught component and then having six month research project also helped because then you could concentrate on the project without doing the, without having to learn anything else and just focus on the lab. The master sort of allowed me to realize which fields and which areas within uh, virology um, have to be more research on like well an obvious one is of course HIV which still has no definite cure nor any vaccines but there's still loads more areas we can research on like gene therapy using the viruses to do to cure disease or maybe using phages which are viruses that infect bacteria well in general they, it's given me a much broader idea of what viruses are and what viruses can do for us facilities are amazing. The, the labs are really great. You get libraries in each campus. Mm, the central campus down at, at South Kensington is pretty amazing. Um, well, the multicultural environment you can feel in the Imperial. Uh, both, uh, you get students and professors from different parts of the world and very different backgrounds. So I think that was also, it's also really good about Imperial. And you get to meet a lot of new people, of course. Well, um, I wanted to go into a career in research, so my obvious next step would be to find a PhD. Um, at the moment, I'm applying for different PhDs and different um, funding. Though I also consider doing a year, like spend a year working in a lab, in a lab, or working as a research assistant, and then do my PhD. But in theory, that would be my plan to continue doing research in a laboratory for my whole life.